Here are three ways you can instantly solve problems faster, get more problems right, and improve your SAT math score. Tip number one is to solve directly for what they're asking for. This problem here says, if 3x equals 8y and both x and y are positive, which of the following equals 40y? You may be tempted to solve for y, you know, divide by 8, divide by 8, get y equals 3 eighths x, and then multiply by 40, but you don't need to do all of this. Here's what you do instead. The problem is asking what equals 40y, so we can immediately make this 40y. Multiply by 5, that gets 40y. Do the same thing on this side, times 5 equals 15x. And we know 40y equals 15x. D is our answer. Tip two is to read the last sentence first. This problem here has a giant chart and a big block of text, but I'm just going to read the last sentence. Which of the following is true about the length of the Aldabra giant tortoise in relation to the median length of the nine turtles and tortoises? So we know we're talking about the Aldabra giant tortoise, median length, and the other turtles. So we're looking at length, so I can cross off all of this. A lot of times they give you extra information just to confuse you. We know we're talking about the Aldabra giant, so I'll just note 150 over here, and now we're looking for the median. So I'll write all the numbers over here in order and search for the median. 81, 95, 100, 100, 210, and 213. And start chopping off the ends. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Four, four. So the median is 140, and we are comparing the Aldabra giant tortoise to this. So it's 140 compared to 150. Ours is 10 more, so the answer is C. It's 10 centimeters longer than the median length. The last tip is to guess and check. A lot of people only reserve guessing and checking if they don't know the answer, but sometimes it's actually a viable solution. So in case you don't know how to solve this one, you can just start plugging in the answers and see what works. The question says, in the given equation, k is a constant. If the equation has exactly one solution, which of the following could not be the value of k? So I'm just gonna start plugging in these solutions and see which one doesn't give me one solution for the answer. Zero, we would have three x plus eight equals zero x, so just eight. And that would be three x equals zero, x equals zero, that one gives us one answer, can't be that. Next one. 3x plus 8 equals 1x plus 8. That's going to give us 2x equals 0. So x equals 0. Can't be that one. Let's try C. 3x plus 8 equals 3x plus 8. X's cancel. 8's cancel. So there is no solution. C is our answer.